My very first thought when I heard there was a plant-based food hall opening in Providence, Rhode Island was, what's a plant-based food hall? Turns out, Plant City is the first all-vegan food hall in the world. It consists of four restaurants, Double Zero, Bar Verde, Make Out, and New Burger, as well as a coffee shop and a marketplace. All under one roof, all vegan, and all curated by famed chef Matthew Kenny. You know, that guy who's like taking over the world. We packed our appetites and hopped in the car to begin the two-hour journey to Providence for what promised to be a memorable experience. And don't worry, I brought you guys along for the journey. Okay, so we're on our way to Plant City in Providence. Very excited, very hungry. I'm hoping that you can kind of just like bounce from restaurant to restaurant. Keep you updated. Paul, do you have any thoughts? No. Okay. It's really hot here. It's like 90 degrees. But we're here. We finished the nachos and we just ordered our pizza. We got the Bianca, which is like, it's a white pizza, which I normally wouldn't go for, but it sounded really interesting and some of the reviews said it was good and the server recommended it. So that's what we're getting now. I'm trying to like pace myself and save room. Paul says he's not trying to pace himself. ordered food to go and so I'm just waiting for it outside. We've got a little buzzer. Ordered a burger, a salad, and mac and cheese to go. We are leaving Plant City. I got a kombucha for the car ride home because it's always nice to have a nice drink for a long car ride. 
refreshment. I don't want to leave though. It's like all of a sudden the weather's so nice. I want to walk around a little. but it was also like literally overwhelming. You have not only so many choices on the menu of each restaurant, but you have so many different restaurants to choose from. Honestly, the nachos were probably the most underwhelming part of the experience, only because I had had the nachos before at Bar Verde in New York, and I remember them being so good. These ones, there were so many like beans and all the other stuff, but there wasn't like really not that much of the cheese sauce, which is like really the most important thing. And then there weren't there weren't really enough chips, so we finished and and there was like a pile of beans left. I want to say it was probably the best pizza I've ever had. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I didn't realize this is why it's called double zero. It's a special kind of flour. It's like double milled or something. It produces a very specific result, which is that the crust is like crunchy on the outside and then like really chewy on the inside, which is to me like the perfect kind of pizza crust. And the flavors just like punched you in the mouth in the best way possible. It was phenomenal. But by that point we were kind of full. So we went downstairs and we were exploring the marketplace. There's also this other place called Makeout, I think, and it's like sandwiches, and that's more of like traditional cafeteria, like they have like a food line that you can go through. There's also a coffee bar downstairs where you can get like all different kinds of coffee, smoothies, kombucha on tap, and then the burger place is also downstairs. So at this point, we were so full, and we were like now like really overwhelmed, like what do we do? Because we wanna try more stuff, but we're so full, and it's hard to like think about what you want later when you're so full. Shoot, okay, my memory card is almost full, so I will finish this once we're home. Cheers. So here is the salad, the mac and cheese, and the burger. Looks pretty loaded up. Just tried this, it's good. It's got like a slightly smoky flavor. So I'm a little worried that Paul is not gonna like it because he hates smoky flavored things. I'm not sure why the mac and cheese tastes slightly smoky, but it does. It's good though. The Cobb salad, which is just like massive. Let's see. Um, try to get a bite where I get like everything. Oh, there's like already dressing on the salad, but they gave us dressing on the side. The salad is excellent. It's really good. Oh, that's good. Really tasty. I don't know if this is supposed to be like lettuce or coleslaw at the bottom. I haven't, I haven't had like a Cobb salad in so long, though it's really a treat. It could be good to like mix it all together. Let me try the burger now. Hmm. Good. Mm. Slightly mushroomy. I don't know about that. Yeah, it tastes a little mushroomy. I don't know. I knew it had mushrooms in it, but I thought it would be like ground up enough that it wouldn't matter. But definitely like tastes and feels a little bit mushroomy, which is not my fave thing. I'll probably focus on this and the mac and cheese and maybe my leftover pizza, but I'm trying to save this for tomorrow. Our server was saying that the colleges around there, like uh, RISD and Brown, like the two big colleges near there, are coming back like from summer soon. And she's like, we opened while they were on summer break. So it's gonna be crazy when they all get back. So it was actually good that we went when we went. And if you're gonna go, I would say maybe try going on like a weekday. The whole experience, I would give it like a 9 out of 10. Paul said the same thing. Yeah, it was so fun and 
just like warmed my heart like doesn't even begin to describe it thank you so much for watching subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you guys next time i probably have so much food in my teeth i don't even care bye